Hello and welcome to Real Basic TV, Episode 1. I'm your host, George Bonish. Uh, for those of you who've never tuned in before, Real Basic TV is a video podcast covering some of the latest tips and tricks for the Real Basic development environment. Well, on today's episode, I'm going to be introducing the Real Basic IDE, and we're going to be getting familiar with uh, using the GUI and most of the built-in objects. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build a real simple application using the most basic objects included in Real Basic, like uh, windows, push buttons, checkboxes, edit fields. Um, and then we're going to get comfortable with um, building our, our project into an, app into an actual application that, uh, that can be run. So if you have Real Basic installed, go ahead and open it up and let's get started. Uh, currently I'm using Real Basic 2007, but most recent versions of Real Basic should look pretty much similar to this. So uh, everything I do should be pretty universal. Um, first thing I'm going to go ahead and do, um, you'll notice the toolbar up here. It's pretty similar to a browser's toolbar. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make these buttons a bit smaller so that uh, so we can have a little bit more space to work with. Uh, and you can do the same thing as well if you wish. Um, to go ahead and do that, you can click or right-click anywhere in this in this white space back here, and uh, you can choose any one of these. For for my preference, I'm going to go ahead and choose small icons, and you'll notice uh, the icons got smaller and we lost the text underneath it and underneath the uh, this address bar and the search bar here. And we have considerable considerable amount of uh, real estate to work with now. So this should be the first window that you see. Um, you'll notice again the the browser-like toolbar up top with the back and forward buttons and the rest of these. Um, you'll notice a, a tab here, and this is going to be where uh, our tab bar is. Real Basic uses a tab interface to switch between all the windows, so that makes it real handy. Um, this is our project pane. It's going to contain all um, our objects that are contained within our project, any windows, mini bars, classes, um, or methods that we create. You're going to be able to um, to locate them here. It's basically like a, a bird's eye view of of our our current project or the application that we're building. Um, and then this pane over here, it's the property value pane. Um, anything that's clicked over here in our project pane, um, it's going to be referenced over here. The properties and values associated with it. Um, you're not going to need to worry about any of this right now. We're just going to get familiar with it. But you'll notice if I click here, window one. Um, all these properties um, will be displayed here along with their values. And you'll notice we have position properties and appearance properties and uh, the name of our object. But again, we're not going to worry about that for, for this episode. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, to tell you a little bit about, about a default project, each default project has these basic, um, these basic objects here, app, window one, and menu bar one. Uh, for this episode, let's just worry about window one. So window one um, is the default window of the application. Whenever the user um, runs the program, window one is what's going to be the first window that pops up. So anything we're going to want to do in today's episode, we're going to be in window one. Now we can always add more windows if we want, but um, for by default, Real Basic assigns um, window one as the default window for the application. So let's go ahead and open up Window 1 by double-clicking on it. And you'll notice that a new tab opened up top here. And we can switch back to our Project uh, window and our Window 1 window here using these tabs. We can also rearrange the tabs by clicking and dragging. Uh, you'll notice Window 1's on the left now. I can drag it back. And you can close tabs by clicking this little um, Close button here. Okay, so to cover um, a little bit about the the window one editing editing window here you noticed you'll notice a um, a controls pane here on the left side this is a list of all the built-in controls that real basic offers you'll notice things like um, edit fields combo boxes check boxes uh, a lot of these things should look familiar to you if if um, you've ever used a web browser before you know you have progress bars buttons pretty much um, pretty much the basic stuff um, here is our main design pane, where um, most of our designing is going to be of the GUI of our of our program. You know, if we're going to add buttons or we're going to add input fields, this is where we're going to do it. You can resize everything here. You know, add text to your window. Whatever you're going to need to do. 
Um, and then on the right side, again, we have another property value pane. Um, and like the other one, this references any objects that are selected within our design pane here. And you'll notice that um, window, this background window here, which is window 1, is currently selected. Uh, and you can notice that by these disclosure boxes around the perimeter. Um, now these, dis these disclosure boxes also um, serve the purpose of resizing handles. So you'll notice um, you can click and resize this window. But let's go ahead and keep it at the default for now, right about, um, I'd say, here. Um, and you'll notice again that the, the properties and values are, are reflected for the window here. Um, alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and um, start designing our application. Our first program is going to be very, very simple. Um, we're just going to be um, creating an input field and a couple of buttons, and we're going to ask the user to input a word. Um, we're going to make sure the user input an actual word, and then um, we're going to create a pop-up box, or as Real Basic calls it, a message box. Um, repeating the information back to the user. Um, then we're going to do a couple other stuff here, but let's go ahead and get started with that. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is um, rename our window. You can see right now it's uh, labeled untitled. Um, and this is what's going to be on the, the top of the toolbar, uh, basically like it is here in the window whenever the user uh, runs the application. Um, there's two ways to do this really, but the easiest way would be to just reference it here in the property value pane. So you can go ahead and make sure your window is selected um, by clicking anywhere on the on the background or on the top here. And you'll notice here in the property value pane um, a property labeled title. And you'll see untitled here as, uh, as it is right here. So um, if you go ahead and select, uh, click once in here, we can rename it to whatever we want. And in my case, I'm going to name it realbasic.tv and you can hit the return key or the enter key to submit those changes and you'll notice that it changed right up top as well. Um, alrighty, the next thing we're going to do is add some text onto the screen to tell our user to, um, to enter in some text for us to read back to them. So we're going to come over here into our controls pane um, and locate the static text control. Uh, you'll notice it right here. And you'll see the two double A's right next to it. Uh, we can go ahead and... Now there's two ways to add um, to add controls to our window. We can either double click on it or click and drag. Um, in this case I'm going to go ahead and click and drag it. And you'll notice um, there's a little box where the text will appear. And you can just drag it anywhere under the window and drop it. And again you'll notice this one says untitled. Um, and that's fine for now. Uh, let's go ahead and position this where, where we're going to want it on the window. You'll notice that it has uh, these disclosure boxes around it, and it's the currently selected object. You can notice that by um, looking here in the property value pane and seeing the name static text 1. Um, you don't need to worry about the super or the index or anything right now. Let's go ahead and move um, our static text over to the top left hand side of the window. Uh, you'll see these little um, green bars that will appear. Now what these are is um, what Apple recommends um, recommends you place that object on the window, basically like their, their standard design uh, parameters. Uh, you don't have to follow those. I, I personally like them because they're, they're easier to manage your objects around um, your window. 